Maybe mom and dad were right when they told me this wouldn't be nothing Maybe I should take that advice, go get a life Or maybe get a job or something Pack it up and head back home, tell everybody I was bluffing Or maybe I'll just get out my head and focus on what I know's coming Yeah Cause I can't fall asleep at night without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings Drinking themselves crazy tonight <laughs> Maybe I should call and say told you I'd be right Wondering how long it was before you realized The biggest mistake of your life And now you're paying the price Oh, is it confidence or confusion? Either way I feel like I ain't never losing Your opinion or now you know just what I'm choosing I gotta do this Cause I can't fall asleep at night Without seeing my dreams Delusion and reality, I'm somewhere in between These voices in my head get loud and they keep telling me That I'm a fool for trusting in these wings But maybe, baby, this will fly Step is a layer. My life like a movie, just keep moving. It's a trailer. Shopping in my kitchen, got me tryna get my cake up. I thank God for all this coming to me, not straight up. All in my core, high step is a layer. My life like a movie, just keep moving. It's a trailer. Shopping in my kitchen, got me tryna get my cake up. I thank God for all this coming to me, not straight up. Big boss, get my line, sell a brother, get your feet in. But tap in with your peoples, make sure they doing decent. Show me how to readjust some ways that I've been thinking. Been tryna protect what I've been building, been on defense. Celebrating our friends and we gon' up there when we touch down BYOD shout out to my homies working sundown I should call my sister for some custom gold fronts now Soul already shot, I need no diamond roll it bust down No matter how far I can't forget the opposition If you ain't been running from the side you seen this competition Wisdom telling me better slow down my heart and my conflict I'm pacing Ain't no free pass and I'm paid a lot for my position Come and get it Ball in my core, high step is a In Howard, Ohio, for the girls' basketball season, the Lady Bulldogs of East Knox welcome in 
the co-conference champions out of the MOAC from a year ago, the Pleasant Lady Spartans, who return a ton as they look to get another conference championship. Non-conference action. Marion County versus Knox County. Coming your way, live and free on your smartphone, TV, PC, tablet, any smart device you have, and it's coming your way next. Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience. Tonight's pre-game show for this non-conference girls basketball action between Pleasant coming in with a record of 1-0 and the East Knox Lady Bulldogs opening up the season here tonight. Hello everybody, my name is Travis Berardi alongside my camera operator and she'll actually join me every once in a while on the call, Madeline Zazudo. Hello. Hello. Welcome to basketball season, Madeline. I'm excited. As we uh, get right into the tune of things in our pregame show and take a look at the team spotlight for the Lady Spartans, last year's co MOAC champions. 20 and 5 last year, 11 and 3. They're the D3 district semifinalists from a year ago. And they opened up the season with a 54-23 victory over Osiris. Let's throw it down to the floor for the playing of the national anthem.
back here inside the pregame show. As we get back and look at the team spotlight for Pleasant once again, they knocked off Osiris in their opener 54-23 on Wednesday and one of the main contributors to last year's MOAC champion squad and a 1-0 start, Ava Steele. She was an honorable mention All-Ohioan one season ago. Those numbers last year, 13.9 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per game, 2.9 steals per game for the Lady Spartans. She was also a first team District 11 participant, and she was also a second team Central District honoree. As you take a look at her, right there. And now let's take a look at the team spotlight for the East Knox Lady Bulldogs under head coach Mandy Todd. Last year, 8-13 as a squad, finished 6-6 six six in the KMAC. Lost in a Division III sectional semifinal to Harvest Prep, 52-38. and have a bit of, I guess, injury and illness. So they'll be a little bit shorthanded. The JV game today was only two quarters. That's why we're starting here earlier tonight. Should take a look at the Lady Bulldogs. One of the key players for this squad going forward this year will be Sydney Oakfer, the junior. First team, Knox Morrow, Athletic Conference selection. Averaging 9.1 rebounds and 1.1 blocks. Both of those were in the top 10 in the Knox Morrow Athletic Conference one season ago. As East Knox looking to improve on last year's. 500 record in the conference. As we take a look at the starting lineup for tonight's game. From Pleasant, Olivia Pratt, Tayden Obenauer, Emerson Williams, Whitney Waddell, and Ava Steele, the all Ohio honorable mention participant. On the other side of things for the Lady Dogs of East Knox, guard Reese Todd, the junior. Sydney Opfer, the junior forward. Molly Totten, the junior guard. Ella Divian. Another junior guard, and Jaden Annette, a senior forward. Only one senior on the squad for the Lady Bulldogs. A young squad, as you see them getting introduced. Only three seniors on the Lady Spartan squad in Pratt, Williams, and Waddell. Carrie Ann Pratt, the head coach of the Pleasant Lady Spartans. Mandy Todd, the head coach of East Knox, as we take a look at our keys to victory tonight. First for the Lady Spartans. Play to repeat. This is a squad that has pretty much everybody back from last year's co-MOAC champ squad that won 20 games a year ago. And key number two, one and done. Try and keep offer off the boards. and get the rebound. As for the keys for the Lady Dogs of East Knox, control the boards. Use Sydney to your advantage. And slow the pace. 
You're shorthanded tonight, so slow that pace as we are underway. First call for me this girl's basketball season. Annette takes it inside. Off the hands of Ella, out of bounds on our first turnover of the evening. I want to welcome everybody watching live and free tonight on the OH Report. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out. We'll shout you out. As we are just underway here. There's Avis Steele. Nice dish top of the key to Waddell. Pulls up and hits. Pleasant on the board. 2-0 as we take a look at the Killbuck Savings Bank replay. That ball deflected off. It'll stay with the Lady Dogs of East Knox. Into the corner. Knocked out of bounds. Stays with East Knox. Madeline, your first basketball game here at the OH Report. This is actually my second one. Your this second one, yes. This is my first live stream. I did a Shelby highlight. As the Lady Dogs, another turnover there. But I love basketball. It's like probably my favorite sport to watch, I think. Well, then you're in the right position here tonight. This is great. Williams gets it to Waddell. Works her way in, kicks it back out to Williams. Just a minute gone by here. She takes it to the hole, wow. misses. Rebound out to Reese Todd. She'll throw it in to Totten. It's deflected, and it's another turnover. So the Lady Bulldogs, three possessions, three turnovers here to start the game. Waddell gets it out to Williams for three off the iron. No good. Rebound fought for. It'll be a jump ball. It will stay with Pleasant on the arrow. Kicks it back out. Three in the air from Olivia. Pratt is true. Nothing but nylon there. It's 5 nothing. Here comes Totten back down the other way. Puts it up just in and out. Rebound to Pleasant. There's Steele. She's going to pull up for three off the back iron. No good offensive board, though. That's Williams. She's going to take it right in and score. Seven, nothing. Back down the other end, we're going to get a foul. So you take a look at the Killbuck Savings Bank. Replay, foul's going to be on Tayden Obenauer. Ball bounces around, deflected off of East Knox, but they'll get it back. Totten with it. Gets it over to Divian. Left side and another turnover. Fourth for East Knox as we get our first substitutions of the evening. Maddie Murphy checks in, as well as Brooklyn Davis. So just underway here. Lady Dogs yet to get on the scoreboard. Nice ball fake, kicks it right side. Murphy for three, it's short, but an offensive board. Puts it back up, no good. This time, Sydney gets the board. Back the other way we go.
Left side nearly turned over again, but Ella there gets it inside to Sydney off the board. Banks are open, and the Lady Dogs are on the board. Shot off the back iron, rebound Lady Dogs. Back they come. Todd gets it to Sydney. She'll get it back over to Totten. 4-14 left here, opening quarter, 7-2 Pleasant. Open look for Todd, right side, three's no good. And we'll get a foul on East Knox. Turnovers have been hurtful so far here for the Lady Dogs, definitely, Madeline. Definitely, definitely. Seems like they're just maybe going a little too hard, a little too fast for I themselves. Think, I definitely think they need to slow down a little bit. Is this their first game of the season? This is. This is a home opener. It's the second for. Well, that makes sense. Lady first Spartans. quarter of the year. You get those jitters, yes, right? Yes, definitely. I know you're more of a soccer player. Played a little basketball in, what, middle school? Yeah, I played actually through high school too, but I okay. didn't play for my school. But um, I honestly wish I would have played for my school. But you had, you had those early game jitters. Oh, definitely. You, opening night, you got excited, but exactly. you still, you know, it takes you a while to get you know into the into the pace of things, right? Definitely. Yeah, oh. so Pleasant definitely has the advantage there, for sure. Hello to Elizabeth Paz Derek. Or as we would like to know, we call her Chip. Coach Chip, how you doing? Deborah Adams, go Lady Dogs. Laura Grover, go Spartans. Thank you all for watching so far. Opening night. Nice ball nice. movement. Got the fake, but won't go. Rebound to the Lady Dogs. Back comes Molly Totten. Ella with it now. Gets it right side. Todd for three, yes! Five straight for East Knox. It's a two-point game. And again, down at the net, Pleasant couldn't get the ball to go down, and now the Lady Dogs, just like that, a chance to tie or take the lead here. That's deflected. A little 1-3-1 one action. Left side shot in and out, no good. Back comes Pleasant on the rebound by Murphy. Quickly out ahead, and we're going to get a foul. Got it ahead to Davis. Foul's going to be against Totten, her first, team second. And we will have our first free throws of the evening. Off the front iron, no good. Free throws were always so stressful. They are. Because everyone's stressful. just so quiet. <laughs> everyone's watching you. So I'm guessing you were the nervous type when it came to basketball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isabella Grenall. Grenall. Sorry. Grenall, not Grenall. Into the game for the Lady Dogs. As the second free throw goes. 8-5. East Knox on a 5-1 run, however. Right side off the hand of Todd and turned over. Fifth turnover by East Knox. Back comes Pleasant. Pull-up jumper. Yes! And a steal. And we're going to get a jump ball. We'll show you the play. And it just in and out yep. and then just stuck there. That was Emerson Williams that got the bucket the fall to make it 10-5, but 
Funny thing a basketball can do. I know. Nearly stolen away, but Totten keeps it, and she does turn it over. Back comes Williams, kicks it left side. Steal for three, no good. Rebound, East Knox. They're trying to run out ahead. Picked up by Totten. Gets it into Sydney. Layup, no good. Gets her own rebound, puts it back up, no good. Third chance, fouled, she'll go to the line. Two point blank looks for her. She was able to get her own rebound though. And she will go to the line. The foul is going to be called on Addison Foster. Sydney's first free throws of the season. First is good. Jasmine Smith will now come in and give Reese Todd a bit of a break. Sydney seconds up and good. 10-7. Four points for Sid. Williams across the timeline, under two to play here, opening quarter. Right side, gonna drive in, double teamed. Somehow finds Waddell, kicks it out. Davis into the lane. East Knox in the 2-3 zone, blocking those lanes though. They'll have to reset. Williams works around to Avis Steele, now left side. Ball movement, that's what's gonna get good looks in against the zone here. I was just gonna say that, that their ball movement is really, really good, especially right now. Post movement, back out, three in the air. Off the rim, rebound. Up for three-point pleasant lead here on the Knox Community Hospital scoreboard. Nearly turned over, and it is. It is yeah. Number seven against East Knox. Kicked right side, blocked by Opfer. Take a look at the Killbuck Savings Bank replay as Sydney back to her average from a year ago, one block. Nice movement, gets it in and scores. Fourth point for Waddell. 39 seconds left here in the quarter. And we'll get a foul. Take a look at the replay. Spartan fans might have a, a, a case there. I know. Thirty six point three left here in the quarter. First free throw up and good. First points of the season for Molly. That was on Waddell, it's her first. Lady Dogs, four for four so far from the charity strike. 12 9. Williams in the Waddell, hands it off. That's Davis back out to Waddell. She's going to try and get it in kicks. Under 20 seconds left in the quarter. Ball stolen. Ella into the lane and nice. one. Lady Dogs with a chance to tie things up here. First turnover of the night, costly for Pleasant. That was a nice play. Read it perfectly, looked like a corner there. Free throw, off the rim and in, we're tied. <laughs> Williams, out the Davis, one second, shot. gotta put it up. It won't go, nope. no good. The bucket wow. falls, but it was after. 
the buzzer. We played one. East Knox 12, Pleasant 12. We'll be back with quarter two, live and free. At Knox Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your healthcare partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. So we played one here at East Knox. Lady Dogs were down. But they came Seven back. Seven nothing, but they come on a run. They've tied things at 12. Travis Berardi back here with Madeline Zazuto. And what a way to finish the quarter by the Lady Dogs. To even things up against the co-MOAC champs from a year ago. Three in the air for Williams. In and out, nice box out by Opfer. Lady Dogs looking to take its first lead of the game. Totten gets it in the corner. Three's in the air. Rainbow off the front of the iron. No good. Quick run out for Pleasant. Williams thought about driving. Gets it in to Waddell. She'll go down baseline, tries to throw it, and off the, def the offensive player and out of bounds. One minute gone by here, 12-12. For you East Knox bowling fans, Coach Paws, her squad, bowling team broke five records in wow. two matches. As they look to get that bowling KMAC championship. They were the conference champs on the boys' side a year ago. Ball knocked out of bounds. We'll be hoping to get some bowling action this season for you folks. That was fun when we did the K-Mac. Nice pass inside, Sydney post move. Too strong though, offensive board put back. Good, East Knox leads. Annette with her first points. Pratt with it, kicks it right side. Three in the air, Pleasant right Good. back at you. Is bowling intense? Ah, the way we did it, it wasn't. <laughs> I mean, if you're, if you're in an intense match like East Knox and Northmore were on the girls' side, maybe. But the way we were watching, we were having a blast. Three from the right side, too strong. Rebound out to Pleasant. They lead by one. Waddell off her three. She has seven. Another three in the air. Won't go, and we'll get a foul. Should take a look at the Killbuck Savings Bank replay. That's going to go against Obenauer. That's her second. Really enjoyed calling bowling from our side. You get strikes and things like that. But we were lucky enough, Madeline, that at the KMAC Championships, the two leading teams on both sides were in the lanes next to each other. So we could put a camera right on nice. them. Nice, yeah. But we also had the other 
15 lanes as well we were trying to keep up. It was a lot going on, but it was a good I time. I can imagine. We had fun bowling shirts, too, thanks to Adam Thompson. It was good. Nice pass inside. Layup too strong. Ball bouncing around. Sydney had it for a second. Kicks it back out. Right side. Shot by Bostick. Won't go. She gets her own rebound. Puts it up. Won't go again. But Pleasant was on the line. A lot to take in there. Couple rebounds by the Lady Bulldogs, and that's going to force a timeout by the Pleasant Lady Spartans. They lead 15 14, and a new graphic, as you see up here for our timeouts. Points scored per quarter. Pleasant with the one point lead because they have the one point advantage in the quarter. Yeah, I don't know what her name is, but East Knox, number 23, she was wide open. Uh, Annette, Jaden Annette. Yeah, she was wide open. Now, I missed my handful of layups in my career. Those are, oh, are nerve-wracking, yeah. too. No, yeah. Absolutely nerve-wracking to take. That's why I did not play that much. <laughs> I was just way too fast. And then I feel like the you ball. You rushed the shot, yeah. Yes, and then the ball would bounce off the backboard, go down the other side of the court sometimes. Just needed to relax. Ball inbounded, lost, and turned over. Back comes Pleasant with the one-point lead. Over the Pratt, top of the key. Under five to play in the half. That's Waddell, drives in, she's fouled, doesn't get it to fall, but she will go to the line for two. Foul's going to be against City Oak for her first. Team's first of the quarter. Now remember, folks, new rule this year from the NFHS as the first free throw is good. Five fouls in a quarter, two shots. No more one and one, and one. no more seven, seven fouls. It's a one and one, no more 10 fouls and a half. It's two shots as the seconds miss, but an offensive rebound. Five fouls in a quarter, you're shooting two the rest of the quarter. Interesting. Williams, right side, three in the air goes Maddie Murphy. We're going to travel. Ninth turnover by East Knox. They trail once again by five. Pleasant, that's it. they're a team that will shoot the threes. Definitely. And also on defense, they're playing a lot of pressure very, very quick. You will see a lot of that in the MOAC this season. We'll have coverage of Clear Fork. Scott Sellers' squad. Nice take into the hole wow. and a finish. Ava Steele gets her first points of the night. It's 21-14. Back the other way. Foul to the line. Will be Izzy Bostic. Has a nice job creating the contact there. And drawing the first foul on Maddie Murphy, that'll be her first, team's second of the quarter. And that is the first missed free throw of the evening for East Knox. They were five of five before that. Molly Totten checks back in for the Lady Dogs. 21-14 the score. Miss both. Left side, that's Steele. Straight away, open three. Side iron, rebound, Opfer. But stolen away, another turnover. In the lane, layup, good. Ten points in the half for Whitney Waddell. Nine-point lead and another steal. 
Left side, Williams for three, no, but an offensive board. Nearly lost it, got it to the hands of Williams. Coming up on three minutes left in the half, it's a nine point lead for Pleasant. Steele, looking for the cutter, gets it to her. Right op wide open. That's a beautiful cut there. Back out, straight away three, rimmed around, no good, we're gonna get a foul on Olivia Pratt for reaching around. Went through Todd, yeah. and it will be called. But yeah, Madeline, that's, that's something else you'll see. That's how Pleasant gets their open looks. Crisp cutting, getting to the Definitely. bucket, kicking it back out in those fast passes you talked about. Bad pass by East Knox, another turnover. Left side, layup, foul. And Waddell will go back to the line looking to extend on her. 10 points to lead all scores. It's the first foul against Reese Todd. First free throw up and in. Missed the free throw. Nearly got her own board, but it bounces out to East Knox. I don't Kicks. know how or why, but I feel like I blinked my eyes and now Pleasant is up 10 points. Or not anymore, but. Ella with her sixth point. Big bucket, they needed that. It's 24-16. Into the lane, layup, yes. Right back at you. Who else? Whitney. And that'll be a yeah. travel. Pleasant picking up the pressure full court. And the Lady Dogs are going to take a full timeout as you take a look at that nice drive by Whitney. 14-4 in the second quarter for the Lady Spartans. That is the difference in the scoreboard as well. As they lead 26-16. Once again, I want to welcome everybody watching live and free this evening. Let us know where you're watching from. Give us a shout out, we'll shout you out. I also want to thank our sponsors, Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. The Killbuck Savings Bank, community banking. It's what we do, it's who we are every single day. And BS Media Productions, need a commercial to showcase your business or promote that you're hiring? BS Media Productions is the most affordable, high-quality production company in North Central Ohio. Find them on Facebook. No fiduciary. No financial planners tonight. I just think it's a fun word to say now that I know how to pronounce it. <laughs> fiduciary. That is Whitaker Myers. I expect 10 cents for that shout-out to <laughs> John Mark Young. Oh, my God. East Knox will inbound. Or correction, Pleasant will inbound after the turnover. Williams. To steal out front, nearly walked. Kept her pivot foot down though. Murphy, out to Williams. Ball fake, she's gonna drive it to the hole. Lays it up on a scoop, too strong. Under two to play in the half. Back out front. To Todd. Todd. No movement. Someone needs under. to get open, yeah. Yeah, no movement inside, and that's a five second count. Nobody along the baseline from East Knox was moving to get open. And it forces a five second call. The 14th turnover by East Knox in this first half. Williams, right side. That's Waddle. Straight away three by Pratt. Won't go. She gets her own rebound, though. Williams. Back out to Pratt. 
Left side. Whitney into the lane, forces it up, and one. What a half for Whitney. 15 points. I like this scoreboard because it tells you how many points. One of the many yeah. new amenities here at the new gym. Any That's cool. Thoughts? Free throw up and in. That's deflected. Knocked out of bounds by East Knox. Take a look at that and one one more time. Sixty seconds left in the half. Whitney to add on. Short. Nearly got her own rebound, but it does find its way to her teammate. That's Ava Steele. Straight away for Pratt. Gets it inside to Whitney. Ball fakes, left side. Murphy for three short. Rebound, East Knox. Trailing by 13. They need a bucket here. They've only scored four points in this second quarter. Gets it inside, left side, that was over, a nice pass. off the side of the backboard, no good. Steele, she'll drive in, nice pass to Whitney. Can't get it to fall, but she'll get more free throws here. With 16.8 left in the half. Free throw, no good. Second shot goes. Full court press once again, broken. Nice pass inside. Ball fake, layup, nothing. Did not hit anything. Rebounded by Pleasant. Four seconds, three, two, long three at the horn off the backboard, too strong, and that'll do it for the first half. 18 to four in the second. Gives Pleasant the 30 to 16 lead. We'll take a break when we come back. Halftime stats and analysis right here live and free on a Monday night. Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience.
opener, season opener for the Lady Bulldogs of East Knox. Brought to you live and free on the OH Report. Thanks to our generous sponsors. The Knox Community Hospital in the community for the community. Killbuck Savings Bank, community banking. It's what we do. It's who we are every single day. And BS Media Productions. Need a commercial to showcase your business or promote that you're hiring? BS Media Productions is the most affordable, high-quality production company in North Central Ohio. Find them on Facebook. Also, East Knox fans, businesses, would you like to sponsor the Lady Bulldogs as well as the Boys Squad? Well... Contact Brian Skaronsky, Brian at oh.report. His number is there as well. You want to get a hold of him and be a part of East Knox Athletics. 50% of your sponsorship dollars goes back to the athletic department here in Howard. We'll take one more break and be back with the halftime report right here, live and free on the OH Report. Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience. Welcome you back here inside our halftime show on opening night in Howard, Ohio. With the score at the break, Pleasant 30, East Knox 16. Travis Berardi back here with Madeline Zizzuto. Madeline, what did you like from the Lady Spartans in that second quarter? Um, I think that they moved well and their ball movement was very good. Um, I think that they capitalized off of East Knox's mistakes, and they made shots. Couldn't have said it any better. Exactly what they did as we take a look at the statistics through 
16 minutes of play here in Howard. Lady Spartans, 11 total field goals, three of which were from beyond the arc. 14 rebounds, only two turnovers. That's a big number so far today, the turnover margin. Fouls, seven of them. And they were five of nine from the charity stripe. As for the Lady Dogs, only four field goals, one three-pointer out of those. 17 rebounds, they just haven't been able to convert though. 15 turnovers, can't do that and a half. Only six fouls, they were eight of 10 for the charity stripe, that's what kept them in that the game in the first quarter before. Pleasant was able to pull away. And that is because of one, Whitney Waddell, 17 points on six field goals. One of them was a three, and she was four of seven from the free throw line as well. Our player to watch, player spotlight player, Ava Steele, didn't, hasn't needed to do much points-wise. She has two, but she has been able to dish it off to Whitney for some points. As for our player spotlight for East Knox, Sydney Opfer. Sydney with four points on one field goal, two of two from the line. She had a pretty good block though, right? At least one. She did have a very good block that keeps her at her average that she had last year of 1.1 blocks per game. Back to action, East Knox with possession here to start. They're gonna need a run if they want to have a chance at getting back into this game. Up for. That's to Ella. Now to Annette, inside, threw it away. Another turnover for the Lady Dogs. Quickly ahead, missed by Waddell, and taken out by East Knox, but a jump ball will keep the ball in possession of Pleasant. Just underway, third quarter here on the Knox Community Hospital scoreboard, 30 to 16 in favor of the defending co-MOAC champs. Into the lane, floater won't go. Rebound though by Pratt. Outside three for Williams, swish. Williams with her seventh point, 33-16. That'll get knocked out of bounds. So we take a look at the Killbuck Savings Bank replay. Swish, nothing but nylon. Yeah, number 12 read my mind. I was like, Williams is wide open. Whitney adding an assist to all those numbers she's put up so far tonight. Nearly a steal. East Knox fans wanted a foul there, but I don't think there was enough for that. As Totten will reset the offense. Gets it over to Todd. Lady Dogs scored four points in that second quarter. Straight away to Ella. Pull up jumper. Off the side iron, gets her own rebound. Puts it off the glass, no good. Rebound, Pleasant. Quickly ahead is Williams. Rejected but stolen right back and we'll get a foul. Take a look at the return to sender here. Second block for Sydney tonight, but was unable to corral it. Foul go against Annette, that's her second. Her and Todd with two fouls apiece. Obenauer for Pleasant with two. First free throw in and out, no good. Also a reminder to you folks, at 7.30, the OH Report video podcast. podcast. Brian Skaronski alone up at World Headquarters tonight. Do we Wait. have any special guests? Well, I was about to say, tomorrow you and I will be at Loudonville for the girls, for girls' action, a, a big 
early season matchup between them and Lexington, head coach of, Le of Loudonville. That's travel. Tyler Bates will be on via video call, so he'll call in about their hopes for this season. The defending Division Three Girls Player of the Year at the helm for her senior season. Three in the air, off the front iron, but an offensive board. Pleasant working it around inside the Whitney. Double dribble. Just lost the handle. Corey Vermilia will take on the Le Lexington Lady Lex. Gabby Stover, former player of Lexington, takes over at the helm. And yes, she is the sister of one Farmer Gronk. Inbounds pass stolen away. Three in the air. Yes. Open. Time out. Yeah. East Knox. Take a look at the replay. No one was even looking at her, yeah. Ava Steele. Honorable mention. All Ohio is a freshman. Showing you why there. Yeah. The takeaway. The swish. It's 37-16. But Madeline, yeah, you're in store. She'll be my camera slash color commentator once again tomorrow, but that's going to be quite the matchup down at the birdcage. Uh, to our comments section, Deborah Adams, rooting for Sid. Two blocks tonight. Corey Newsom watching my niece, Whitney Waddell. Go Spartans. She's a leading candidate for MVP tonight, Corey. Leanne, shout out to Brooke Barlock running the camera for East Knox. Their huddle camera. Shout out. And over on the Facebook side of things, Eric Queen, good looking girls, keep working hard, go Spartans. And guess what, Madeline? Yes. We have reached our goal of 35,000 followers. We're now at 35,088 followers. That's amazing. We broke 30,000 on a stream at the, at the beginning of the new year at Upper Sandusky. Myself and Joe Baylog were on the call. Nice. So let's change that now to 40,000. Let's get to 40,000 followers, folks. They grow up so fast. I might start <laughs> crying. The OH report's Whoa. getting old. I know. That's going to be a block. Foul will go against Obenauer, and that's going to be your third. Not what you want for her tonight. Mm -mm. Three tough luck fouls, and she'll have to take another seat on the bench. So less than a year to get over 5,000 followers. Not That's bad, insane, folks. Yeah. Pass inside, deflected. It'll be a jump ball to stay with East Knox. I do want to thank a couple people who became a follower. A Mark. Y. Meller. Also, Michael Ziegler. Two followers tonight. That would be the 35,087th and 88th of the OH Oof. Inbounds pass oh. nearly stolen. It's going to be another jump ball, and it will be a turnover on the change of possession. Sloppy play once again. Five twenty-two left here, third quarter. A 21-point lead for Pleasant. Top the key, Pratt. Good idea on the pass. Just a little too strong. But, yeah, you see the great seal there by Steele. Mm. But the pass may be a bit early. She wasn't able to oh, set yeah. herself up to get that. And it is a turnover. But it's going to be given right back. The 20th turnover by East Knox as they try to break the press. 5.05 left, third quarter. Nice passing inside to Steele. Back outside. Three in the air for Murphy. Off the front of the rim, no good. We'll get a foul. That'll go against Williams, her second. A 7-0 run by Pleasant here to start quarter number three. 
Brooklyn Davis will come back in and replace Williams. That's deflected off of Pleasant. It'll be another inbound for East Knox. Tough test for the Lady Dogs here out of the gate. It's a veteran squad here by Pleasant with hopes of another MOAC championship and possibly going further than their district semifinal appearance in Division Three last year. Nice move. Nice. Euro step won't go, though. It's deflected out and a run out now for Pleasant. Into the lane, layup, yes. Pratt makes it 39-16 with her fifth point. Inbounds deflected. Nice work as we'll take a look at the layup by Pratt. The timeout for East Knox. 9-0 the score here in quarter number three. 39-16 the score. Midway through this quarter. And while I have a moment, let's go over some of the games we have for you coming up this week. Like we said, Madeline and I will be at the Birdcage tomorrow night, Lexington at Loudonville. Brian Skronsky will be on the call at Upper Sandusky as they take on Willard. That's another big non-conference matchup for the Lady Rams, who are 1-1 one one on the year. I was just in Willard for one of my three Thanksgivings. Had great food. Always great to be out in Willard. Friday, possibly five boys basketball live streams, and then we'll have four more streams for you on Saturday, two boys, two girls. Lady Dogs finally trying to finally get off the board with some points here in the third quarter. I Running like the, the movement lead. going on. Open look left side off the back iron. Long run out again. Into the lane. Layup good. Steele with five points in the quarter. She has seven. Opfer gets a screen, crosses the timeline, gets it to Ella. Now to Totten for three. No, it's a two. Nonetheless, won't go. Rebound to Pleasant. We'll have a jump ball, though. East Knox will have it. Substitutions by each. Totten, left side, open look for Ella, too strong. Steele, they work it inside. Travel. What a travel. Fourth turnover of the night. That'll be a reach-in foul. That'll be Brooklyn Davis's first, team's third of the quarter. Addison Foster checks back in. Inbounds nearly taken away, but corralled. And it will be turned over, and we'll get a frustration foul. That'll be the second foul on Molly Totten. And the corner. Back out front now. Looking for the back door cut. Nice defense. Ball deflected away. Stays with Pleasant. Three in the air. Short but an offensive board. Ball faked by Steele, takes it baseline, double teamed. 
and a timeout by the Lady Spartans. They'll get an inbound underneath. 41-16 score here in the third on the Knox Community Hospital scoreboard. Still no points for East Knox this quarter. Just unable to get a good look. Derek Smith rooting for the Lady Spartans. Once again, want to thank everybody for watching live and free tonight. It was a 12-12 game after one, but then Pleasant started applying the pressure and they pulled away. Right side, Foster nearly turns it over, but Murphy takes it back. Steele. Back to Murphy, now right side. That's Foster. She's trapped on the baseline. Almost turned it over. But Grinnell wasn't looking. Pick and roll. Off the front iron, and it will go out of bounds to East Knox with 2.04 left in the third. If you were in a shooting funk like this, Madeline, what would you do to get out of it? Oh, man. Um, well, with East Knox, they've been doing really well with free throws. So maybe trying to get, trying to get onto the line. I don't know. What would you do, Travis? Well, I one, keep shooting. Yes. And two, I would try to take it to the hole. Exactly. They haven't attempted a free throw here. in the second half. That was a foul against Pleasant. That's our fourth, so we may see our first new bonus. East Knox with the next Pleasant foul will go in a two shot. Nice pass inside, won't go. Offensive rebound. Yep. And a foul we will get. There we go, Our yeah. first. I was just about to say, Pleasant is doing a good job not fouling, but jinxed it. That's Ava Steele's first. And now it's the fifth foul. It's two shots the rest of the quarter. New rule this year. Five fouls in a quarter. You shoot two free throws per foul the rest of the quarter. Once the quarter's over, Fouls reset, you need to get five more. There's no more seven fouls, it's a one and one and a half. Ten fouls, it's two shots. It's five fouls per quarter. First free throw won't go. Second free throw falls there we go. and finally East Knox on the board in the second half. 41-17. Left side, steal for three, in and out. Offensive board. Back out front, nearly stripped away, but kept by the Lady Spartans. 90 seconds left in the quarter. Right side, three, swish. Steele is heating up. Hearing Need her name caller a lot. Moulton. And a steal. Into the lane, deflected, kept by Pleasant. Steele's going to try another. That one's short. Opfer's there with the rebound. Almost a turnover. Triple teamed. Ball's just running around, shot no good, but a foul. That thing was pinballing around for a good 10 seconds. So 
Two shots here. First is good. Foster's first point of the game. Second free throw won't go. Rebound East Knox. Nice. And the lane. Look at that. Layup in. Great play. Totten with her first field goal. 45-19. Ball nearly stolen, deflected out, and that's a tough luck foul. We'll take a look at the run out in the bucket for Totten. That's going to be her third foul, however. And now the next East Knox foul will put Pleasant into the bonus. As he Bostic will check in. Seventeen seconds left in the quarter. Murphy, ball fakes, gets it inside to Davis. Back out. Ten seconds. Obenauer. Back around. Three seconds. Got to get a shot off here. She's One second. Davis. No. They're going to count it. Really? That's close. I didn't think she was going to get it off, but she no. does. It's good, and it's four points. On the night for Foster. We played three. 48 nothing Pleasant. We'll take a break and be back with quarter four right after this. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience. Sorry, I was dancing there. <laughs> we both were. <laughs> Almost missed the start of the fourth quarter. Back here at East Knox. 48-19 after a 18-3 third quarter by the Lady Spartans. Travis Berardi back here with Madeline Zuto. Pleasant with its sixth turnover, sixth turnover of the game. Gives the Lady Dogs the ball for their first possession of quarter four. Bostick into the lane. She's fouled and will go to the line. Take a look at the Killbuck Savings Bank replay. Nice take. And just that late movement by Obenauer gives her fourth foul. So the junior. Well, Coach Pratt going to let her stay out there. So First free throw in and out, no good. Bostic 0 for 3 from the line for the freshman tonight. Second free throw is true. The reversed announcer jinx works. She makes it. It's 48-20. Into the lane. Kicks it back out. Three in the air for Waddell. No good. Offensive board. Great post move and finish. As Ava Steele now has 12 points. I think something that East Knox could possibly do that Pleasant is doing is just their turnaround time. 
Pleasant is going so fast after East Knox scores, and they, I feel like, just are not as quick. Well, also with the illness oh, and injury yeah. from East Knox, that's what they want to do is just speed you up and tire you down. And they have done that so far with a 30-point lead. And... Are we in running clock territory? I want to say it's 35 to start it. And then once it gets under 30, that's when we get the running clock. So Pleasant gets the ball back here. In control, looking like they're going to be 2-0. Three in the air, looks good, and it is. Ava Steele has come on here in the second half. Three threes in the second half, she is 15. On the other end, that's in and out, punched out of bounds. It'll stay with these knocks you take a look at the tray from Ava Steele. As the Lady Bulldogs gonna empty the bench out here. Right side, back out front. Three in the Wide air, nose on the line, but won't go. Rebound out to Pleasant, but it was a good look. Quickly back, Williams, nice pass, give and go. And she's going to be fouled and will go to the line, but great passing here by Pleasant as you take a look. It's hard to defend Give and that. go to give. Beautifully executed. That's how you do it in practice. Oh, yeah. And it'll turn into free throws. Second foul on Ella. Free throw's good. Misses, put back and in. Ava Steele again. 17 points and a turnover. Great She's pass. wide open. Waddell finally gets back on the board. She has 18. That'll be a foul against Pleasant. And yes, it is now a 36 point lead. We have a running clock. Now does that even still go when there's... Um, once, once it gets under, I don't know about timeouts. Timeouts, I think it's soft, but out of bounds, plays, free throws, it's, it continues. Even free throws, it continues? Yes. That's crazy. Left side three, won't go. Only a timeout will stop or an injury will stop the clock. Makes sense. At three, in and out again, another rebound though. Two's wide open. Turned over. Into the lane, lays it up, won't go. And up for, just rips it away. Back come the Lady Dogs. Tough play, it's a block. And it'll be two shots. Fans did not like it. No. Reese got turned around, though, wasn't able to get set.
Now we have a conversation at the board. The scores table. They did stop it for a second, the clock operator. Stop the clock for free throws, but like we said, only time it'll stop is an injury or a timeout. So now that's situated though, we'll get our free throws. First one from Foster, won't go. Is the running clock a new rule this year too, or has that been last year too for basketball? Uh, it was last year. I think it was last year in the tournament, but okay. it's implemented for full time this year. Run out by Pleasant and a walk. Coming up on three minutes left. Make sure to stay tuned after the game for our MVP. That jumper won't go. Offensive board put back and in. Sydney with her sixth point. 58-22. Ball fake into the lane, kicks it left. Skip pass, nice ball movement, but the 2-3 zone of East Knox is right there. Lucky bounce, though. Goes right back to Anya Miller, getting some playing time now. Gets her first bucket, it's 60 to 22. Is that a double dribble? <laughs> Close. Mm. Also, I don't know if the referees are going to call that with two yeah. minutes left in a 48-point game. And now we'll get a timeout by Pleasant. So they can get some subs in. So we have quite the predicament, Madeline. Who gets MVP now? Is it Waddle? Well, Whitney, who had a great first half, or Avis Steele, our player spotlight player, who had an amazing second half? That's tough. My chaotic brain says just bring them all up here, but. Well, Ava does have three threes. That's good. Yeah. And 17 points. Whitney has one three, but 18 points. We'll see. It'll be a surprise for everybody else. One minute, 50 seconds left in this game. Pleasant going to move to 2-0. and oh. East Knox is going to suffer its first loss on opening night. Pleasant to inbound. Right side, three in the air for Robinson. Nicole Robinson can't get it to go. Rebound to East Knox. Almost turned it over, but back into the hands of Chloe Tucker. Bostick. Gets that to net. Up and in, nice. and one. Jaden Annette with her fourth point. 60 to 24 as we get under a minute left in the game. And 
and she makes the free throw. Lady Dogs in a full court press. Pleasant broke it, but it's back court. Yep. So East Knox will get one final possession here. Corner, three in the air, in and out, offensive rebound, puts it up and a foul, but I don't think she's going to have enough time no. to get these free yeah, throws off. So she'll get her two free throws. Oh. Yep, they'll just give her nope. one, and that's it. <laughs> Bostic finishes it with a free throw to make this final. 60 to 26. We'll take a break. When we come back, our Killbox Savings Bank for our BS Media Productions, actually, BS Media MVP, right after this. You're watching Girls High School Hoops live and free on opening nights on the OH Report. Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience.
Welcome inside our post-game show as we await our MVP out of the locker room. Travis Berardi back here from Howard, Ohio. Your final score, 60 to 26 in favor of Pleasant. And let's take a look at the final statistics. 22 field goals, eight of which were threes for Pleasant as they pulled away in the final three quarters. 25 rebounds, only eight turnovers, a great night. For them holding on to the ball, 16 fouls, and they were 7 of 16 from the charity strike, something they'll need to work on going forward. East Knox, though, only 8 field goals. One of them was a 3. 27 rebounds. They did out-rebound -re Pleasant, but they turned the ball over 29 times. You just can't do that in any game. You won't be in it if you turn it over 29 times. Only 12 fouls, and they shot pretty well from the free throw line. 10 of 14, but the turnovers... A big difference in this one. A 21 turnover margin in this game is pleasant. Able to pull it off. 12-12 after one. East Knox had looked pretty good after the first quarter, but then an 18-4 second quarter made it 30-16 in favor of Pleasant. Pleasant then scored 18 in the third, 18 to three to make it 48-19, and then 12-7 in the fourth for the 60 to 22 score. Let's take a look at the dog pound here. East Knox dropping to 0 and 1, while Pleasant moves to 1 and 0. We'll take one more break. When we come back, we'll have our MVP interview right here for you live and free on the OH Report. Community Hospital, your primary care physician is more than someone who delivers your test results, more than someone who writes prescriptions, more than someone who listens to your heart. We are your health care partner who takes the time to know you, listen to your concerns, and provide you with expert personalized care to make and keep you well. Because to us, you're more than just numbers on a chart, you're a neighbor and a friend. Knox Community Hospital, in the community, for the community. At the Kilbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience.
Time now for our BS Media Productions MVP. And it is Pleasant Lady Spartan Senior Whitney Waddell. Game high, 18 points. Also five of eight from the charity strike. She hit a three as well. Most of those points coming in the first half as they pulled away after the first quarter. And Whitney, my first question for you, it was 12-12. You guys went up seven nothing. East Knox yeah. kind of answered, tied things up. But after that quarter break, you guys just went out all out 36 to seven over the next two quarters. What was the what was the change between the first and second quarter that gave you guys that cushion? Yeah, I think it was mostly our intensity um, at the beginning. Uh, we didn't play as hard as we should, and our press wasn't working, but we kind of regrouped and talked to our coaches and regrouped and figured it out and then um, just put on our intensity that we're known for and get our defense going, and that always helps with our offense. Um, I believe you scored about, I think, 16 points in that first half. Just what was working for you in that first half to you know, really open things up, and especially for Ava, who mm -hmm. was able to take over in the second half? Yeah. Um, so we have a really good inside-out chemistry. We've been working on it the last few years. Um, and so I think it was just really helped, like, keeping the defense on their toes. Like, if I drive, they don't know if I'm going to pass it out or what we're going to do. Um, so it's really nice having that inside-outside threat between us. So it's going to – Uh Yeah, so, like, it's just a – we have a nice threat between us. So keep the defense on our toes and, yeah. Cool. Uh, last year, you guys, you know, a three-way tie for the MOAC championship. Uh, you bring a lot back. Uh, you went made to a district semifinal as well. Just uh, what do you guys need to do this year to compete for another conference title and maybe get further in the tournament? Um, so we have a lot of our players back, and so I think it's just really building our chemistry back up and bringing more to the table this year. Um, I think we're starting to really get a feel for each other and. Obviously, our defense is a big thing for us, and so just keeping our intensity up on our defense and, um, yeah, just keeping the offense on their toes and just keeping them, yeah. Um, are there what, what are some expectations for yourself? Senior year here, what do you want to go out and do this season for Pleasant? Um, I just really want to lead, um, just help the team out how much I, however much I can. Um, I just want to stay a threat in the paint, and that's a big thing for me. Um, and just give my other my teammates the other opportunities on offense, and yeah, just be our shutout defender for the um, post too. So. All right. Uh, lastly, as always, you want to look in the camera, give anybody a shout out, go for it. Uh, shout out to my parents. Thank you for all you've done for me and love you guys. All right, there you have it. Tonight's MVP, Whitney Waddell. Game high, 18 points as Pleasant advances the 2 0. Congratulations. Thank you. At the Killbuck Savings Bank, you can expect great products and service from a fellow Knox County Chamber member. Now offering premier card processing solutions and services, ensuring the business owners understand their credit card processing fees. We have a wide selection of card processing solutions that provide lower fees, faster payment, additional security, exceptional marketing features, and help to improve your business operations and customer experience. Hospital in the community for the community. Killbuck Savings Bank. Community banking. It's what we do. It's who we are every single day in BS Media Productions. Need a commercial to showcase your business or promote that you're hiring? BS Media Productions is the most affordable, high quality production company in North Central Ohio. Find them on Facebook and also East Knox fans. We're going to be here for a few more games for the girls as well as the boys. If you'd like to sponsor, Advertise your business on the OH Report for your East Knox streams. Contact Brian Skaronsky, brian at oh.report. His phone number there as well. Get on these streams. Sponsor. 
be a sponsor for the games, and 50% of your sponsor money goes back to East Knox and their athletic department. Thank you all, though, for sponsoring tonight. As we welcome you back inside the post-game show, Travis Barardi with Madeline Zazudo. <laughs> Madeline, what did you like from this pleasant squad, especially in the last three quarters? I thought that, like I said in the halftime show, I mean, they capitalized off of all of East Knox's mistakes. Every turnover, they almost I feel like they almost always scored off of. They were very quick with movement and ball movement. And I think they just honestly outran East Knox. Yeah, I, I can agree with you 100% in the ball movement as well. Really opened things up. Before we wrap it up, let's go over individual scoring for tonight. First for East Knox, they were led by Sydney Opfer, Ella Divin, six points each. Jaden Annette with five, Molly Totten with four, Reese Todd with three, Isabel Bostic with two, and Isabella Grinnell with one. As for Pleasant, they were led by our MVP, Whitney Waddell, 18 points, Ava Steele with 17, Emerson Williams with eight, Olivia Pratt with five, Addison Foster with four, Maddie Murphy with three, Nicole Robinson, Anya Miller with two, and Brooklyn Davis with one. But that'll wrap things up here for tonight. I want to thank everybody to help make things possible this evening. Madeline Zuzuto, not only our camera operator, but our color commentator as well for this evening. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. We'll see you again tomorrow at Loudonville. I uh, want to thank our sponsors as well. Killbuck Savings Bank, Knox Community Hospital, and BS Media Productions. I want to thank Scott Brickner and the athletic department here at East Knox for allowing us to be here, as well as the OHSAA for allowing us to bring you these games live and free. And most importantly, we want to thank you, the fans, for watching East Knox falling on opening night 60 to 26 to Pleasant who moves the two and oh from Madeline Zizuto I'm Travis Berardi saying so long from Howard <laughs>